Today we're going to be opening up 100, you heard that correctly, 100 Rise of the Bloodborne set number 2 booster packs. As you can see right over here, bam, look at that, 100 booster packs, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot here in front of you. It doesn't even fit all on the screen I feel like, so it is quite a bit. Now we have, I feel like a decent amount of chance, a pretty good chance to maybe pull one enchanted today, right? This is basically a case of uh, four booster boxes and then four additional booster packs to make it 100. And so I feel like somewhere in here, there's probably an enchanted hiding. So hopefully we do pull one enchanted. I would love to pull the Cinderella enchanted as that one is the probably the most popular and the best one for Rise of Floodborne. So we'll take any enchanted, but Cinderella is the one I really want. Uh, but other than that, we are hoping we get a decent amount of legendaries, but let's go ahead and get started. Um, as uh, I am going to be opening up all these packs, we're only going to be looking at the last three cards, uh, right? These last three, as the last three are the uh, rare or higher for these two here. And then the last card, of course, being the foil. So. We are going to do that. The rest of the cards, um, you know, they're going to be commons. You might get some cool cards like Popsicle or whatever, uh, but commons and uncommons. We're not too concerned with, the, concerned with them right now, just because we've seen them all, right? But we want to see what legendaries can we pull, what uh, rares, super rares, and of course the foils, hopefully an enchanted, but that's what we're going to do for the rest of the video. But let's see our first rare card today is Merlin Rabbit, which a good card in the game. Yzma is the super rare and our first foil of the day is a common chip the teacup so not the best but pretty good start I feel like um, with the uh, Merlin card right. Now imagine if we got an enchanted right away in that first pack that would be crazy but it's fine. We have 99 packs to go so we still have a lot of chance to pull some nice cards. Now when it comes to the legendaries I feel like our goal is probably going to be, let's say, four legendaries uh, in each booster box. So maybe about 16. But if we can get a little bit higher, that'd be nice. So about 16 to 18 would be nice for legendaries today. As we get weight set, rare. Pete, bad guy. We do have the enchanted already, right? We actually pulled two enchanted on the channel for Pete, bad guy. So got we, I don't know, Pete just loves us for some reason. But here we go. Oh, another common foil, which is Owl. Okay, let's go. Next pack. So, you know, Rise of Floodborne has been kind of rising uh, a little bit more recently, I feel like. Um, uh, you know, of course, first chapter is always going to be the best. Uh, but Rise uh, has been pushing its way back up as it's starting to become, I guess, uh, ooh, as we pull Teeth and Ambitions. Very nice pull there. Namari, love that. And ooh, <laughs> This is what we're looking for, but the Enchanted, right? Cinderella, Ballroom Sensation, which honestly, the rare foil looks beautiful. This this card looks amazing, even just in its rare form. But this uh, Enchanted looks even better. So hopefully we can pull that Enchanted. Uh, that'd be beautiful. But yeah, as I was saying, the Rise of Floodborne has been increasing in price quite a bit um, for booster boxes, for some product, right? Uh, so they are increasing, which also means the individual cards are also increasing in price. So uh, a lot of these cards are becoming higher in value, which is cool, you know? Uh, well, I don't know. It's a good and a bad thing, depending on if you're a collector or if you're, uh, I don't know, just like to open cards or uh, whatever the case might be if you're trying to play the card game. It, it probably varies based off what you are actually trying to do, right? But for collectors, I think it's a good thing. Uh, but for, I don't know, as we, Sheer Khan is our first uh, rare on this pack, Tiana and Arthur foil. But yeah, if you're like a, uh, I guess just love to open packs, but not really a collector, then um, it might not be the best for you because the prices are rising. Uh, if you love to play the game, might not be the best for you either. But I think as a collector, it's probably the best when you see um, your collection being worth more, right? But here we go, Christopher Robin, love this. Maurice's Workshop, that's good. And let the storm rage on, foil, as we get to the next pack. I would actually say that Rise of Floodborne 
has become pretty underrated, right? Even from me. Like, <laughs> I, I like to sometimes bash on the second set. Um, you know, I was treated as okay, like the the middle child right now, right? Because I'm I'm a huge fan of the first the set number one, first chapter, as well. But let me open this one here. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Very 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 nice. Very nice there. And rare, that's a rare. Basil super rare and chief bogo rare foil. But yeah, I treat rise of floodborne i feel like a lot of people do as the middle child um you know we like we love the set three we love the set one and then kind of rise is just there for us when we need it the most but honestly rise of floodborne has a lot of really important cards that people need to build their decks right um i think a lot of you will be, agree with me that there are a lot of important cards in here and then there are a lot of good uh, cards overall in the set. Like we're gonna see it, maybe all the cards today, maybe right? We'll, or we'll see most of them because we're not really seeing the common, not common, but we'll see most of the cards today. So we'll see how great some of these cards are, right? Mulan reflecting, love that. Gaston, this is a very nice card as well. Gaston and Donald Duck deep sea diver foil. Okay, next pack. I mean, uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a slightly longer video than most because I mean, a hundred packs, it's a, it's a lot. It's gonna be, it's gonna take a bit for us to open all hundred packs for sure. But I uh, hope you guys have the time for it. Sit back, relax, you know, grab some popcorn, food, drinks, whatever. It's gonna be a bit, should be fun hopefully, but let's see, Pete, bad guy, Mrs. Judson, and lo love this card here, Jasmine, heir of Agrabah foil, which actually looks very uh, shiny, very nice. Uh, one video idea I have maybe sometime in the future if I can would be doing like a, a state of Lurkana for based off my opinion right <laughs> kind of a state of Lurkana um, how things are going uh, maybe some improvements they can make based off just you know what I think and maybe some of you can even um, let me know in the comments down below or something improvements for Lurkana in terms of their cards and whatnot um, and I would love to bring that on into the state of Lurkana video for you guys perplexing slight signpost Lumiere okay and Pacha which is another nice looking shiny foil there but yeah I mean uh you know it's it's we've only had three sets so far we are still in the very beginning phases hopefully for Lurkana um but uh just quick off off the top of my head I would love to see more I guess new kinds of foils right new kinds of holographic cards um as we get strength of raging fire this one's nice it's a good card little john and mulan so as you know right all our back cards are either going to be foils like this gold foils or potentially an enchanted now um if i don't know what lorcana what ravensburger's plan is i'm sure you know their focus is going to be on the tcg game which is great but you know some a lot of people love to collect the cards a lot of people love to see the nice beautiful shininess of cards too right so i hope that they can kind of follow the footsteps of pokemon where the you know, pokemon has a lot of different kinds of holographic cards right not just cold flows or back then it used to be cold flows only i feel like as we get weight set cinderella ballroom sensation but not the foil we have the foil though and sword in the stone so it's, you know even some cold foils here you can't you can't really tell can't even tell this is a, this is a foil but you know that's one issue i feel like um some some cards just can't even tell they are foils um but i would love to see different kinds of uh maybe not cold foils i think they you can call them like holographic cards or something or it just looks even nicer even shinier and you know enchanted's of course beautiful um but enchanted's are so hard to get that you just don't get to enjoy uh, some some of the capabilities of other holographic cards, right? So I hope they can make another type of holographic where you get you get your most common uh, foils, like you'll get these foils, but then you get these other extra holographic, nice shiny cards, right? Um, that are higher rate than the foil or less higher rate than the foils, uh, but. I guess uh, higher chance than uh, Enchanted, right? So we at least get some more really cool looking cards more often. Uh, the Sorcerer's Spellbook, Tuck Tuck, and Arthur. So uh, that that's kind of what I hope um, we can get in the future sometime is just some really more cool, shiny looking, you know, beautiful cards. We already have amazing artwork. So if you can figure out like how to 
get more nice holographic looking um, prints, I guess, or, or uh, being able to print those. That is the next, uh, hopefully that's something we can do in the future or get something in the future. That'll be nice. I would love that. Uh, Tiana, Grandpappy, and Mrs. Judson. So we, today, we, so far, we don't even have any legendaries. Uh, kind of shocking. After, I don't know, we're already a decent of uh, uh, the, the way there. I feel like maybe 10% or so. I think we've opened up about 10 packs, but still no legendaries. Uh, maybe we will get one right now, hopefully. Let's see. Let's see if I can call it. Madam Mim, okay. And nope, still not. Prince Charming and Rapunzel, which this foil looks great, right? This looks very nice and, and very shiny, very looking, uh, very bright looking, right? So that, that one's great. But for example, in Pokemon, they have like, I don't know, you can, they call it alternate art, so they have these... Ooh, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't have much space to work with today. But uh, they have like alternate arts of certain cards, and those look great. Um, back then, I think they were focused on like hyper rare cards, uh, like a different kind of shininess to it. And then, I don't know, like other kind of... Like, if, if you guys open Pokemon, you'll know what I'm talking about, but there's just really, really nice looking. And there's the texture. I think that's an, 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 another thing that we can focus on for Lorcana sometime. The Queen and Merlin. But the holographic cards, the nice, really looking, crazy looking ones for Pokemon have like really nice texture, which um, I think Lorcana kind of does with the um, enchanted cards. They definitely do have good texture on them. Uh, but, you know, we just <laughs> never, we rarely see enchanted. That's why I think they should introduce a new kind of a holographic card other than enchanted so that we can pull somewhat often uh, somewhat often right more often than the enchanted but you know of course less than the cold floats uh goofy night for a day beast and basil all right next pack and i apologize if i talk too much in this video i'm just gonna be talking about random stuff here and there hope you guys are uh in for it for this one but of course we'll focus on opening cards as well and i want to I want to make sure the video is not too long, so I want to open as fast as I can for some of these. Sleepy's Flute, Great Card, uh, Prince John, and Perplexing Signpost. Oh, is that a foil? <laughs> so you can't even tell. Wow. Yeah, that one's hard to tell. Very hard to tell on that one. Perplexing Signpost Foil. But yeah, I, you know, I think uh, Ravensburger is still, of course, doing an amazing job uh, with the card so far. The artwork um, is all, they're all amazing. They did, they're seriously doing an amazing job with that. Um, I hope the holographics and foils and all that can kind of get, you know, and upped a little bit, right? Amped up a bit, just a little bit, and then work our way towards the future to get them even crazier, right? World's greatest, greatest criminal, criminal, I can't even talk today. <laughs> criminal mind, uh, Cheshire Cat, and oh, okay. Beast Relentless Foil, which I don't think we have. Um, so this is actually going to be, I believe, added to our... Uh, foil master set collection and oh, this is a nice one uh we do have a few legendary foils already for set number two and i believe this one will be added to the collection so look at that beast relentless and so this is our first legendary of the day crazy to think about but yeah it is our first legendary of the day and it's actually a nice one so we'll take it all right so hopefully we can keep the momentum going because what a great pull that one was right beast legendary foil so love that pull our first legendary i hope um, we can continue maybe get back-to-back -back legendaries we still haven't even pulled a regular legendary yet right so that's kind of crazy still haven't pulled a regular non-foil legendary as we get tiana true princess i do really like that one as a foil uh, i love the pretty colors on that um and the foil still looks very nice on it so that is my idea sometime in the future. We can have the state of Lorcana, a medfly perspective. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that'd be good. And then maybe get some of your guys' input as well. You know, leave it in the comments for any video and I can try to pull it and... Ooh! <laughs> How do we keep pulling this card? Beast, tragic hero. How? How do we do this? This deserves some some fire because uh well we're not on fire yet but the next card is a legendary card right so uh we are definitely on fire right now but this card just is attracted to us this beast tragic hero 
we pulled it i don't know how many times but <laughs> i feel like i need to make this the deck right this beast tragic hero the i don't know the steel something deck out of it i feel like we need to uh, i still love the ruby sapphire decks but i don't know we'll see what can our next legendary be it is donald duck not again <laughs> not again as we keep pulling the uh beast tragic hero right mulan foil okay next pack so wow we are doing uh we're starting to pick up uh some steam right now we are doing a very good job uh three legendaries already uh one being a foil so we are starting things off now pretty well uh our first like 10 packs or so was really not much but now we're doing pretty good as we get pack tactics gruesome and grim and mini mouse stylish surfer all right next pack next pack um but you know what other improvements can we make in Lorcana? i don't know i mean i know the tcg um like competitions they're gonna be starting pretty soon from uh from ravensburger so those are gonna be interesting and i'm sure there'll be improvement made improvements uh, made from that i would love to be able to go to one of those um i haven't seen one that's in california yet as we get lumiere strength of a raging fire and Gorilla Deville. I don't know if I have this foil. This actually looks very nice. Very nice foil there. Um, but yeah, I would love to go to one of those. Um, I think, are they, I forgot what they call it. Lorcana TCG, like regional events, I think. I don't know. It might be regional or I don't think it's world or anything like that, right? <laughs> but uh, yeah, I would love to be able to go to one of those. Uh, playing, of course, would be cool. But even just to be able to go to one of those would be very nice. Um, very nice to go to one of those, right? Mini Mouse, very good pull there. Queen of Hearts and Bucky Oil. But uh, let me know in the comments if any of you have been able to get tickets to to be able to go to that. All right. Um, I think they announced a few locations. I think one was uh, Chicago, right? Chicago, Illinois. I think uh, the other one is Atlanta, Georgia. And that's only the two that I know in in the U.S. But of course there are some uh, outside of the US as well in the in Europe I believe a um, couple of countries in Europe I forget which ones uh, world again the world's greatest criminal mind the sorcerer spell book and queen of hearts uncommon uh, but yeah if any of you were able to get tickets which I believe uh, I, I heard it's extremely difficult to be able to get it I think uh, most recently I heard that they expanded the ticket count uh, from like 500 something to now they're probably double or tripling the number so that's pretty good a lot more people can go um but i hope i'm able to maybe possibly go to one of them even even if it's not to play just to be there will, will be uh, very nice right maybe see some of you guys there uh bibbidi bobbidi boo Ooh, alice growing girl giving us our fourth legendary of the day we'll give growing girl a little bit of electricity there love it this is a uh, pretty pretty good foil i feel like or not foil but a legendary i feel like i like it quite a bit but the foil is okay snow white all right here we go next pack so wow four legendaries already i don't know how many packs we have gone through i would say estimating maybe like 18 or so maybe 20 um so we are on a pretty good pace right now with four legendaries maybe number five nope <laughs> cogsworth and improvised foil but uh yeah you know rise of bloodborne we haven't uh i feel like opened up uh packs from rise for quite a bit now so you know we, we're mostly focusing on set number three into the inklands and then we're also we always love to open the first chapter so uh, you know rise doesn't get the most love from us but right now it does with 100 packs quite a bit right namari super rare cheshire cat and nothing to hide next pack but uh yeah let me know in the comments down below uh if you guys have any ideas to be able to improve not that i am you know not that i'm in like talking terms with raffensburger or be uh, or lorcana uh developers anything like that would love to be I would, that'd be awesome if i can ever um get invited to something like that i would love to give some input um and take your guys input and be able to give it to them as well so let me know in the comments down below what improvements can we do with arcana uh, it's already a great game right but let's make it even better maurice's workshop peter pan's shadow and elsa gloves off so from what i think i know uh 
at least uh, I think from watching the showcase they had most recently for Lurkana, um, they, or I don't know if it was from the showcase or maybe I read it somewhere, but let me, let's open this real quick. Cobra Bubbles, Basil, and Enchantress. But from what I think I read is the design work, right, for these sets, like especially uh, the upcoming set number four, the designs of the arts and of the cards and all that have been, they were made like last summer, right? They, they, they already designed all this stuff. They basically made all the, the all the all the names and the the packs and all that. They were not other than the printing, right? Other than printing, but the designs and and the names and all that were done like last year. So they seem to be like maybe eight to ten months ahead uh, on uh, what they release. Uh, Flynn Rider, Doctor Vasilier, Grand Duke. At least that's what it seems like. But um. I could be wrong about that. Maybe I read that wrong, but I think that's that's how it is. Uh, they're like eight eight months or so ahead uh, before they start printing things, right? And so uh, we might after set number four, maybe is when we start seeing maybe new things come about because uh, they finally get to see the results of their creations, right, and their input from people people like us, and so. Uh, Christopher Robin, Merlin, and Pete, bad guy, foil. Uh, they get to see their the inputs from it, all, all of us and whatnot. So maybe after set number four is when they will really make some changes, right? So maybe set number five, whatever that set's going to be called, um, we might see quite a bit of differences in set number five. I don't know. I'm just thinking guess right now. Uh, it would be cool to see some new stuff out there, right? Goofy, Prince John, Frilla Deville. Now, what new things can they actually do? I don't know. I mean, they can maybe make a new ink color. I don't know. Uh, well, that's a possibility. I don't know, unless they use like every color possible. I don't know. No, there's probably more colors out there. But yeah, I mean, there could be, who knows, new ink colors. I hope new holographics, like I was saying earlier. Falling down the rabbit hole. Honest John, Flynn Rider. Um, I don't know what's the equivalent of like alternate art on Pokemon to here. Uh, maybe, oh, you know what'd be cool is when you make the card, right? Have a have a, a card, like for example, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll look at this, uh, maybe not Grand Duke, maybe Pinocchio, right? You have Pinocchio and then the background, instead of being like a Pinocchio background, it's like the background of... I don't know, the Lion King background or something, right? You're taking these characters and putting them into different worlds. That would be cool, right? I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, Merlin, Crab, Foil. That'd be, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I think that's pretty cool. Being able to see people, uh, characters in different worlds that, you know, they probably never would be able to go in the first place. Um, that'd be awesome. I would love to see, hopefully, some Pixar characters. I don't know if they are able to or allowed to. But I, I really want to see some Pixar characters. Toy Story. We got to do it. Toy Story is my favorite. We have to do that. And oh, wow. Two legendary foils today. Not, Donald Duck, not again. And uh, we'll give some electricity to that. But wow. Uh, I was not expecting two legendary foils today. And these two legendary foils, I don't think we have. So we are making some good progress in our uh, oil master set collection so I'm super happy about that okay next pack <laughs> we are we are doing really good right uh i can't remember how many i think was that our fifth legendary of the day i, I think it, that might be our fifth one and two of them are foils so wow we are doing very well very good with the legendary pulls today especially the foils uh oh okay arthur like that one and robin hood Oh, I'm <laughs> just tossing cards here. But uh, I know Robin Hood, they, they've they done really good stuff with Robin Hood, right? And I think some of the cards they've made for that, really good. Um, you know what's crazy is I feel like we haven't seen much of Elsa since... I mean, I'm sure... they. I believe they did make some Elsa cards after the first chapter. can't really remember. I think there were. Um, but I, I don't think they knew that Elsa... Uh, you know, the Enchanted was going to be worth as much as it is and just how crazy people are for that card, right? The Elsa card. Uh, Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and Blue Fairy Foil. So, I don't know if I had to take a guess, 
they definitely did not know that that Elsa enchanted was going to be as crazy as it is right now. Um, and it's only getting higher in price. It's like, I don't know, over 1200 over 13 1400 now. It's, I, you know, I wish I had one, but yeah, I don't know about buying one. That's, that's expensive. As we get another Mickey Mouse. Ooh, Sisu, Divine Water Dragon, Legendary. I would love to pull the uh, Enchanted for Sisu. It, I think that might be my other favorite. <laughs> we'll love that, but not yet, it looks like, as we get Lawrence. But yeah, I just realized that is our now probably, uh, I'm like losing track of legendaries, but I think that was our sixth legendary of the day. Very nice. Very good. Six legendaries already. Uh, we still have a decent amount of cards left. I got a long way to go, but we have some good pulls today. Uh, can we get enchanted? I don't know. Tiana and Yzma. Ugh. Yzma. And <laughs> they also have done pretty good, I feel like, with Yzma. They have a lot of cards for Yzma. Um, you know, they have great cards for Maleficent, Ursula, um, who else? Beast. Um, I don't know. A Ariel, right? Like, they have a lot of really cool cards for people. Even the most recent Piglet. Uh, Pirate Captain one. Love that one. <laughs> Gaston. Beast, as we were saying. Bashful. So... They've done a great job with that, um, but Mickey Mouse, right? Of course, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, they have great cards for them. Um, but as I was kind of saying before, the alternate background <laughs> where characters can be in random places, that'd be cool, right? And like kind of emphasize things going on in the background and of course the character being there. Um, I'm just relating that back to Pokemon because uh, they have these uh, crazy artwork sometimes where um, you know I wish I could show you, show you an example but Queen of Hearts, Flynn Rider, Cinderella um, but they have really really crazy artworks where the background is like a big thing for them right the background whatever story that's going on in the background and the foil the the holographicness of the card very textured right very nice looking uh, so I, I would love to see that for Larkana I hope they can do it Really hope they can do that one day. Uh, Prince Charming, Scar, Vicious Cheater. How are we doing this? This is, I think, our seventh legendary of the day. So, seven legendaries, and <laughs> we still have a lot more packs to go. So, our legendary count for Rise so far, very nice. Scar, great card, and Piglet, very small animal. <laughs> I don't think I've read that before, but very small animal. Wow, okay. Oil. So I just did a quick count um, yeah, on the uh, the last card there, right? The, the little puzzle piece just to count through. Um, but we, this is our 43rd booster pack. We already opened 42. This is the 43rd booster pack. So we are almost halfway there. Uh, and we already pulled uh, seven legendaries, right? Uh, you know what? We're probably on track. Actually, we are, we are not on track. I feel like I don't think we're on track. Uh, Pinocchio, Dr. Facilier, and King Louis Foil. I don't think we're on track at all. I'm just realizing because I think we pulled seven legendaries. We need to be at. Oh, okay. We need one more. We need, in the next like six packs, uh, we we really just need one more, and we'll be on track for uh, 16 legendaries, as I was saying before. Um, but of course, I'd love to get like 18. That'd be nice. Hercules, Baby Doo Baby Doo, Donald Duck foil so hopefully we can get uh just one more legendary uh in the next now like four or five packs uh that will be good for us on track um but you know i would still love to pull an enchanted no matter what if we can get there that'd be nice i don't know what enchanted can we pull well what's your guess <laughs> shir khan weight set and balu and yeah i don't know i i would love to guess Sisu as our um, enchanted card but like I said we'll take any enchanted maybe not Pete bad guy just because we pull that twice already we have one for a collection and then we also gave away one uh, on the channel right teeth and ambitions and there you go fairy godmother legendary now we're at eight so we are on track very nicely on track right now we'll take it and Eudora. So, yep, I'm happy to be on track right now. Eight legendaries, um, and we are just about on the halfway point right now. 
So eight legendaries, we could end up with 16 possibly. Um, and we do have two legendary foils. So we're, we're really good on the legendary foils right now. I'm happy about that. And ooh, Cinderella, Stylehearted, super rare foil. This card, uh, just on its own, is a really good card right in the game. So being able to get a foil of that, we are doing pretty good. <laughs> That's a very nice foil there. I don't know if we have that on uh, as our uh, in our master set collection. Not too sure about that. I do need to do like a count of my master set collection for set number two. I have not done that in a while. I do need to clean it up and uh, figure out exactly which cards we're missing because I think we're getting close to maybe completing the 204, the main 204. Uh, Sleepy's Flute, Lady Tremaine, that's a good one. Ooh, Shere Khan, Foil, which we have, uh, we pulled this, I, I know we pulled this a couple times already. I have one, I believe, from my the Master Set Collection, and I, I feel like I have an extra one, so the, now we have two extras. Uh, so we'll take it. I, I actually do really like that, that artwork on Shere Khan. Uh, it's very well made. Uh, the colors on it, great job on that one. Another Pete bad guy. I don't want to pull the enchanted today for that. Uh, Grand Pabby and Ray Foil. All right. Wow. You know, <laughs> 50 packs or 50-ish packs that we opened so far. And uh, I'm already feeling tired. <laughs> I don't know how some people open like, like, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds in one sitting. Because opening up 50, I'm already like <laughs> feeling it in my mouth. Like it just, <laughs> uh, I don't know, just like I've been talking so much already. Maybe it just feeling dry and all that stuff but I don't know maybe I'm talking too much maybe I am <laughs> I maybe need to just uh, just uh, open cards and don't say anything right but no uh, that'd be too boring but yeah like even 50 ish cards and woo, you just start feeling it opening a hundred cards a hundred packs which we have done on the channel before right for first chapter and I remember feeling tired after that one Grand Duke hear him and Lady Tremaine, but I know that opening up a bunch of packs like that, like 100 packs, uh, four booster boxes, stuff like that, I know you guys love to watch that, right? So uh, you have one big video to watch on the for you guys and uh, hopefully enjoy it too. Hopefully try to keep you guys entertained as we keep pulling some really nice cards. Maurice's Workshop, Snow White, I believe is our ninth legendary of the day we will take that's a nice one there snow white well wisher and ooh, obstacle one of my favorite cards uh, especially for set number two rise of floodborne obstacle foil we will absolutely take there we go next pack next pack still no enchanted i don't know can we pull an enchanted I, I really want just one enchanted one enchanted day, right? Ooh, Cinderella, Ballroom Sensation, Magic Boom, Oil. I, we have seen this Cinderella card a few times now today. Is it a sign? We have also pulled a, <laughs> we have also pulled a lot of peak bad guys today, so I hope that's not a sign that we're getting the legend, uh, the enchanted of those, but come on, Cinderella. I love it, I love it. The Huntsman, Ratigans, Marvelous Trap, and Hiram. Flavor Sham, Flavor Sham, very nice foil there. Hey, next pack. Uh, you know, if we don't pull an enchant today, enchanted today, um, it's <laughs> we just realize how tough enchanted art, enchanted cards are, huh? Like we've done it before. We've opened up an uh, entire booster, uh, a sealed booster box set of four or four booster boxes in a sealed collection, right? In a sealed box, and no enchanteds. So, you know, it's, it's not impossible to miss out on enchanted like that. But I hope we have one today. I really do. Dinner Bell, Chief Bogo, and ooh, yes, I was waiting for this one. Winnie the Pooh, Honey Wizard. Beautiful. Like, I mean, John, John Lauren seriously did an amazing job with this uh, artwork here. This one looks so good. Amazing colors. Love it. Love it. And just, uh, you know, it's Winnie the Pooh for sure. Like it, it's him. It's this card. Uh, with, and I don't know. I, I just have a lot of great things to say about that one. And you know, 
a lot of artworks are in this uh, in Lorcana for all the sets are great but some pop out like that one right like Winnie the Pooh Honey Wizard just pops out so nicely um, but here we go next pack let's see reflexing signpost Namari okay another legendary might deserve the electricity for this one I believe is our 10th legendary of the day Ooh, nice We'll take the Namari Legendary and Pinocchio Star Attraction Oil, which is actually very nice. I don't know if we have it. We might, we might, I don't know, but very nice pull there. Hey, let's do this next pack. We have gone through, I feel like over 60 of them so far and a lot of legendaries, which we will absolutely take, love it. But can we get one enchanted? Just one, just one enchanted today, come on, we can do it. We the Pooh, the Queen. What did you call me? I didn't call you anything. Rats again. Here we go. Uh, you know, one good thing uh, today is uh, none of these packs have uh, been difficult to open. Been very happy about that. Uh, none of the packs today have been difficult. <laughs> but you know, maybe I spoke too soon. The next pack might be difficult. We'll see. But <laughs> at least that's been uh, easy for us today. Merlin. Raya and painting the roses red. I do like that one as well. Uh, you know, one thing I'm kind of think about when uh, these artists are making the cards is uh, kind of do they rewatch the movie? Like, I wonder if they rewatch the movie that they're going to be drawing on just to see what scene they can make, um, and then maybe even scenes that are in the movie. Uh, something extra that they just like. Okay, you know this. This is a cool idea. Let's do it. You know. So, oh wow, Madam Mim, Purple Dragon, Legendary Foil. We are on a Legendary Foil spree today. <laughs> we are absolutely on a spree today. This is a great one. I, I don't think we have this one either. But today is a day where we are um, increasing our Foil Master Set collection just from Legendaries. This is a great one, right? Madam Mim. Purple Dragon, love the art on that one as well, love the colors, and yeah, <laughs> we will absolutely take it for our third, third legendary foil of the day. So wow, I think uh, in total we're about 11, I think, 11 legendaries today. Could be wrong, maybe I'm off by one or so, but it's like 11 or 12 legendaries with three of them being uh, Legendary foils, which is crazy to think, right? Uh, Shere Khan, Mufasa, another legendary, back-to-back -back legendary, so we are on fire a little bit. Maybe three is fire, but I'll say back-to-back -back is fire. <laughs> that is a great one, Mufasa. So I think maybe our 12th legendary of the day. And Verana. We are seriously doing amazing for legendaries. I think a lot of you might agree with me. <laughs> You can let me know in the comments, but I think a lot of you will uh, agree with me that we are doing amazing with our legendary pulls today. King Louis, the Queen, Cheshire. Whoa, <laughs> this one looks quite quite crazy. This one actually looks really cool. Cheshire cat always grinning. I don't know if I, I feel like we don't have this flow because that one looks uh, very unique. I don't think I've uh, I don't think I've seen that one as a foil so. Yeah, I'm still staring at it right now. That <laughs> looks pretty cool, right? It, it's an uncommon, but that one looks very nice. Very nicely made. Love the green on that. But here we go. Next pack. Hercules. Babidi wabidi boo again. Dopey foil. Okay, next pack. We are making some pretty good progress today <laughs> for our Master Set collection. But not only that. We are making good progress on just pulling legendaries today. That is the theme of the day. Legendaries, Shere Khan, Weight Set, and Raya. That one actually looks very nice as well. Love the, the sunset in the back on that card. Next pack, here we go. But yeah, you know set number four is, it's almost here. I feel like we're not too far off. Um, sometime in May, right? towards the middle end of May. I forget the exact date, but towards the middle end of May, 
I guess done. Beast, Relentless. Okay, nice. Regular version of this today. So our 13th, I think, Legendary. Very nice there. And Pain Boil. But yeah, like um, set number four is almost here. I think it's like, I don't know, May 17th, 18th, or forget the exact day, 25th. I don't know. Uh, but it's coming up soon. Uh, released in your local gaming stores as well as the Disney parks. Um, so can't wait for that. Can't wait for set number four. Should be fun. Prince John, Madam Mim, Last Stand. Uh, as the uh, set number four is the gift set is different, right? As I've talked about in a different video, uh, the gift set is not really a gift set. It's like a one versus uh, like a kind of a CPU kind of a I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, you're playing one against uh, like the character itself, right? So you can play by yourself uh, against like a, in a board game version of uh, Lorcana in a way, or you can play with two people, three people, four people, and I think that's a, that's really cool. Prince Charming, King Louie, Gumbo Pot. It uh, it allows us to be able to play Lorcana in a different way, and I think that's awesome. It doesn't always have to be in like a TCG style, it can be like a board game style. Um, so looking forward to that. I'm sure maybe we'll make a video out of it. Uh, at least be able to play once, right? Noi, Bell, Hidden Archer. Okay, I think our 14th legendary of the day. How crazy is that? We will absolutely take it. I love that beast foil too. Okay, next pack. So, wow. I think we pulled every single legendary you can think of. I believe so. I, I think we have, which is crazy. Um, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe there's a legendary or two that we still haven't pulled yet, but we might pull it today. Who knows? Christopher Robin foil. We will absolutely take that as well. But. You know, we pulled a lot of legendaries today and foils as well. So how crazy is that? So many legendary foils that we pulled three of them today. And I don't think we have any of them in our collection. So today's been a good day. But what can make it better? Pulling an enchanted. Pulling this enchanted too. <laughs> Cinderella, Grand Pabby, and Boon Foil. I don't know. We are not looking too good i feel like right now for the uh for a legendary or i'm sorry not the legendary enchanted i you know we, we still have a lot more packs to go so it could be in there but it's crazy that we still haven't pulled it yet right teeth and ambitions cheshire cat sneezy so i don't know still no enchanted that is our main goal right now uh, I feel like we have enough legendaries. We have 14, but I think what we should end up with maybe at least 16. So we just need two more legendaries and we'll be set for that. But can we pull an enchanted? I, that's all I want. That's all I want. Madam Mim Fox. Oh, that's, is that our first time pulling that? Kind of crazy. Such a good card. Madam Mim Fox. Rats again. And Minnie Mouse zipping around. All right. So this is where we kind of speed things up a little bit just because. I feel like we've pulled, um, pulled a decent amount of the cards already. We are seeing a lot of repeats, and we have so many legendaries, right? Dinner Bell, Chief Bogo, and Sleepy. <laughs> so yeah, we are definitely seeing a lot of uh, repeats at, the point, at this moment. So we just want to see what we are in store for the rest of the packs here. Hopefully, a couple more legendaries. We just want. To oh. Was that enchanted in the back? I I got a brief look, but that that looked different. You might have seen it. I think maybe you guys already know what it is. I think that was an enchanted. I think it is. I think it is. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm not ready. What can it be? I hope something really good. I hope it's not pee bad guy. Please don't be pee bad guy. Anything with that, anything with that. Um, can it be Sisu? Can it be Cinderella? What can it be? Okay, here we go. Huntsman. And Ratigan's Marble's Trap. Come on. Come on. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. Oh. <laughs> oh my. I got let down. Why did that look like an enchanted to me? I got, 
I got like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. I, I thought I saw some like an extra shininess to that card. I thought it was an enchanted. Fairy Godmother, he did this to us. I really thought it was an enchanted. Uh, I can't, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm very sorry for letting you down. Heat bad guy, Madam Mim, purple dragon. <laughs> we have uh, foils and regulars of this. Very nice, we'll take it. And the queen foil, so. Uh, actually, good pack right there, but uh, I thought that was an enchanted. I thought I saw the edge maybe, and I thought it was. Um, I thought it just was a different card than we got today. So, what I let you guys down. I'm sorry, but maybe we could still pull it. I don't know. So I have a lot more packs. Maybe we can pull it today. I hope as we get the rabbit. But you know. I'm starting to think maybe we won't, I don't know, I'm losing a little bit of confidence, I shouldn't, but we've had such a good opening today, I feel like it's been so good, right? So many legendaries, um, so many foil legendaries that I just, I don't know, I, I don't think uh, we'll get enchanted, but we'll see, Lucifer, the Queen, and Queen of Hearts foil, but you know, I... What will help us maybe to potentially open up an enchanted? If you hit the like button, I think there's a good chance, a really good and a high chance that we can pull off a an enchanted today. So hit that like button, make dreams come true, make some magic here. Let's do it. Beast, caterpillar. That's actually very cool there. Hey, okay, next pack. Let's do this. Uh, so far still all the packs kind of open pretty easily uh, that one kind of ripped a bit oddly, but still easy to open so happy about that um, But here we go Can we get our enchanted come on you guys hit that like button. I know you did Kronk Cinderella four dozen eggs oil. Okay coming down to I don't know we are still a lot a uh, decent amount of packs, but I feel like we're down to maybe the last 20 ish or so packs, right? I feel like still down there, maybe. I don't know. Minnie Mouse, Dr. Pasilia, Judy Hops, Foil. But uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> we are getting down to it, and my. <laughs> I am tired. Getting tired. I'm already tired. But we gotta end it, right? We gotta end it. We still haven't, we haven't pulled a legendary in a bit, huh? Or did we? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, Jafar, Foil there. Okay, next pack. Here we go, and we do it, and we do it. Just one legendary, come on, or one enchanted, I keep calling it legendary. One enchanted, come on, any, wait, set, foil. Okay, next pack. That pack was a little bit, a little bit more difficult, not, not too bad. It was a tiny bit, just, you know, pulled a little bit more than the others, but maybe that means that there's an enchanted in here, I don't know. Noi? Madam and Fox and ooh, binding contract. I don't know. I haven't seen that card in a while. Um, so and I don't even think we have a foil version of that, so very nice. We'll take it. Here we go. You know, I got a mess next to me. <laughs> and the, yeah, the, down here I have like packs for days or opened up packs for days. <laughs> the ones we've been just opening right now. Yeah, I need to clean that up after. Here we go, Prince Naveen. Okay, we did a quick count to see how many more packs we have left we have 16 including this one so we are less than a booster box of the way there or the left i guess less than a booster box left lumiere strength of a raging fire arthur foil so now we have 15 packs left to go <laughs> and whew, we you know it is a tiring it is a tiring thing like playing a sport i feel like <laughs> i'm just kidding but 15 packs can any of these 15 give us an enchanted i really want one just we have a decent amount i, I shouldn't be too greedy but it's been a while it's been it's been a while we the poo sorcerer spellbook lady tremaine foil now i don't want to be too greedy but you know we are opening up a hundred packs so to think that you don't get at least one enchanted in a hundred packs is we've we've seen it before <laughs> and it's it's tough it's tough but can we do it 
gruesome grim basil basil hypnotize foil not looking too good i don't know i don't know <laughs> i i don't want to lose hope i hope you guys have all the hope for me right now because this is a tough one but you know we're happy about all the legendaries we pulled absolutely so many legendaries Queen of Hearts, Mufasa, another legendary. So many legendaries today. We'll absolutely take all of them. Okay, here we go. Benja. Oil. Okay, next pack. Here we go. Let's do this. I don't... I'm trying to think uh, how many enchanteds we have for Rise of Floodborne. I think we only have one, right? I think we only have Pete Bad Guy. <laughs> I believe so. Namari, the queen, and owl. But uh, yeah, I, I need to double check the collection. But I think we only have P. Bad Guy. I don't remember pulling any other enchanted. For first chapter, we have a decent amount, which is awesome. I think we have like five enchanteds, um, which is awesome. Very nice. But I think we only have one for Rise of Floodborne. I can't recall um, opening anything else. Tuck Tuck, Cogsworth, Minnie Mouse. Wide-eyed diver. That's a pretty good pull, actually. But yeah, pretty disappointing if we don't get an enchanted here because we <laughs> we pulled two enchanteds and both of them being Pete Bad Guy. I don't want to pull a third Pete Bad Guy, right? We'll probably give it up in the channel as well if we do. <laughs> Falling down the rabbit hole. Honest John. Ooh, this one looks cool. The knock. As you can see, we are uh, getting down to the last few packs. Oh, I'm like tossing cards everywhere right now. But uh, yeah, we are uh, getting down to the last few packs or so. And it's not looking very good. Flynn Rider, Peter Pan Shadow, Piglet. Okay, next pack. Um, I don't know. <laughs> we, we are down to our last less than 10 packs, I believe. From the look of it, less than 10. Come on, we gotta do. <laughs> How do we do this? In one opening, two, two beast tragic hero legendary cards. How do we do this? You know what? You know what? After opening this one, I think I've made the decision. I need to make a Beast Tragic Hero deck. Ruby Sapphire, I, I love it. I love the... I love it. And maybe I'll still make the deck just for fun. But I think after opening this, I think Beast Tragic Hero just is for us. Somehow, we, we pulled this so many times. And twice in this in this opening how how, do, how are we doing this can a beast tragic foil, foil legendary be behind it okay no i was about to say but wow i <laughs> okay i don't think we're getting our enchanted today but i'll be honest we actually had had and are having the best opening ever right i just feel so crazy we so many legendaries i think we're absolutely made the uh the number maybe we're like 15 or 16 right now so we are doing amazing with legendaries and three legendary foils and two beast tragic heroes i don't even know how that how we did that <laughs> so what i'm thinking is the same booster the case of four booster boxes had two beast tragic heroes in them crazy right so crazy goofy donald duck we this might be our 16th i think this one is our 16th legendary of the day gaston i believe that one might have been 16 who knows could be 17 that i already lost count <laughs> you, you guys can let me know in the comments down below if you were keeping count how many legendaries we have feel free to put a number down i would love to see it because <laughs> i think we're at like 16 or 17 or something around there but uh, awesome pulls today. Pinocchio, Grand Duke, 
Merlin foil. Amazing pulls today, super happy. Uh, we are down to our last three, four, five packs of the of the opening today. It's come down to it, I know. Um, I wanted to thank you guys for, if you made it this far, I want to thank you guys for being able to watch all of this because I know it's a long one, it's a long uh, video today. But I appreciate you guys watching through, listening to me just ramble about random stuff throughout the video, so I appreciate you guys very much. Maurice's Workshop Foil, and as you can tell, I'm already kind of closing the video because I don't think we're pulling an Enchanted. The last four packs, I don't know, unless last pack magic happens, we will see, we will see. But um, yeah, I know, thank you guys for, for watching this video and all the videos. Thank you so much. Mulan, Yzma, Donald Duck. I think our, our foil um, polls have uh, kind of run out now. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna get some common foils probably in the back. No more legendaries probably. I think we're done with legendaries today, most likely. But let's see our last three packs. Sleepy's Flute, Lady Tremaine, and Cogsworth Foil. We are down to our last two packs. The Beast Pack will be the last one for today. It will be our last pack magic. Can any of these two packs give us the Enchanted? I hope. Oh, Arthur, we'll take that. Cinder, wow. These two are actually really good combos. They're a great couple pulls, but uh, we'll take it. And Raya, okay, foil. Here we go. Here we go. We come, we finally come down to it. I'm definitely tired, but uh, let's, let's open this last pack. Let's get some last pack magic. If you haven't hit the like button, make sure you hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Click on the little bell next to subscribe because um, then you'll be notified whenever we have a new video. So make sure you do those two things. Comment anything down below. I'll most likely respond. Trust me. Or at least at some point I'll respond if I don't get to it right away. Here we go. Last pack magic. Hercules. Raya. Can it be our enchanted? Probably not, but okay. Snow White foil. That's going to do it. Thank you so much for joining me today. Opening 100 Rise of Floodborne packs. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to go rest right now, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Shout out to the members. Appreciate you guys very much. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.